Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back. So for today's video, I'm going to be continuing my budgeting, you know, series here. Um, of course, using my Romina Rosa stickers. I'll definitely leave her um, her YouTube page and I'll also believe will be leaving the link to her website down below because her stickers are absolutely amazing. I am obsessed with them. I have been using them for quite some time and yeah they're just they're they're a plus plus stickers they definitely help keep me organized and keep my budget in check at all times so i switched over to um a voiceover because after the intro it just started to get really weird i'm not really good when it comes to talking and doing things at the same time unfortunately i don't have that type of coordination so we are here doing this talk through, um, continuing on with um, setting up my monthly budget spread in my planner. So the first thing I like to do when um, setting up my spread is to white out that ugly ass hexagon on that's on every single page of this planner, unfortunately. Um, and the white out that I like to use is the Tombow. I guess that's like the best white out every planner girl in the planning community uses it so therefore I use it because I'm a follower then I'm going to um, just put down my um, July washi strip on um, the Romina Rosa's website she does um, provide like another pattern of washi for like her um, monthly collections um, I think for the July one, it was this traditional like red, white, and blue star spangled banner, like 4th of July themed um, pattern. And then she also has like a floral pattern. As you can see, I chose the like traditional red, white, and blue. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put down my income, expected income, actual income, and then my plus and minus sticker down. I'm going to abruptly like zoom in real quick just so that you can see like what my income sources are. So my first income source I get every single month from the VA um, for like my VA retirement or whatever from when I was in the military and that is normally $1,749.80 as my expected. Um, that doesn't really very that doesn't really vary at all from month to month so it's going to stay like that for my actual as well and my next um source of income is unemployment right now due to the whole COVID-19 so that is going to be two thousand two hundred and twenty dollars for the whole month of July this is probably going to be well this is going to be the last month that I get on uh, my unemployment because hopefully my son goes back to um, daycare in August and I will be able to go back to work after I put in my um, sources of income I'm just going to put um, the washi strip that has the total income where I add everything up together and put my um, expected total and then once everything is done and over with at the end of the month I'm going to put my um, actuals in it as well as like what my variance is and so my um ex expected total income would be three thousand nine hundred and sixty nine dollars and eighty cents next i'm going to place um the glitter washi that comes in the like washi strip just to break up the um variable and my fixed expenses a little bit um just give it a little bit more you know pizzazz decorate it up a little bit like so the next thing i'm going to put down is my variable expenses um my variable expenses are something that i don't put in my um monthly overview because they're just they're my cash envelopes and it's a month to month, like paycheck to paycheck type thing of um, like how much I spend or how much I need to put in in that envelope. Like so. So um, my first variable 
expenses groceries and I'm budgeting $200 for that. My second one is office and I'm going to be budgeting $25 for that. And actually after this video I had to like redo that whole spread and it's completely different. I actually wrote all of my variable expenses because I still have money in all of the envelopes of my um, variable expenses. So I'm just going so when you see my um, budget overview again, it's it's definitely, it's going to have much more on there than what I had put so far. And the numbers are going to be totally different. So unfortunately, I didn't like film the like fix up. I just filmed this portion of it, but it's all, it's all the same. It's just going to be um, just, as, it's just going to look a little different. Just going to have a little bit more information on it. The next thing that I'm doing is I'm placing my fixed expenses and these are my like monthly bills. This is everything that you're that you saw in my monthly overview, but it's just going to be um, written down. The tolls are going to be written down and then everything is going to be added up like so. And I'm just going to speed through this part because you guys pretty much saw um, everything that I have in my monthly overview. And everything that I'm going to be paying for for the month of July. So now that I have all of my fixed expenses written down, I'm just going to total them all up and it amounts to $1,831.59 as my total fixed um, expenses and that's pretty much going to stay the same unless I have like um, an unbudgeted, like something comes up, pops up out of nowhere, then I mean that'll just go under the unbudgeted. And I think in my, when I revamped, when I like redid my whole spread, I definitely added, I think, a subscription onto my fixed expenses. So again, you'll definitely see that um, in like the upcoming videos where you get, um, like where you'll see like my actual correct July budget spread. So the next thing I did is I just put down the totals, the budgeted and the actual um sticker and this is where I'm going to put like my total income for the month my total variable and my total fixed expenses so how I do that is I'll just add up my expected put my expected total add up my um variable expenses um put write down my variable expenses onto the totals and then do the same for my fixed expenses and then I'll subtract my variable and my fixed expenses to my income and I will get the total amount of that and of course all that is going to change or may or may not change just depending on um, like what my spending habits are this month. The next thing I'm doing is I am just placing my July budget script onto that um, top washi and I think the last thing I do is I just decorate my planner a bit. Let me zoom out real quick. All right, so I'm zoomed out um, so you can see, well, kind of, I'm kind of like off frame in that bottom part. I like to decorate my um, July budget a little bit, you know, just to make it look pretty. And plus, I like to use up all the stickers in her kits. Um, they're really useful. They're really pretty. And I just... I'm telling you, like, I'm obsessed with her kits and her stickers and just her in general. I, like, watch her videos, like, all the time. I look forward to her videos. Like, I have the bell and everything in her videos. So, guys, that is all for today's video. Um, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you not, are not already subscribed. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys are doing for your July's um, monthly budget. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.